If you're new, please consider subscribing and ring the bell. Har Har Mahadev and welcome to another vlog. So today I'm gonna tell you a story, a well-known story. Though. So in 1947, India gained independence from the British, but it came with a painful partition. Suddenly, people were caught in the wrong side of the border, and they had to leave their ancestral places. A few people decided to stick to their roots, but they had to eventually leave. Like my family, which currently lives in Kolkata, but my ancestral place currently falls in Bangladesh. I have been there quite a few times, and every time the journey has been epic. It generally starts with a cab to the airport. We then take a flight. Take another cab to the border. Do the immigration. Take an auto rickshaw. Then board a train. Wait, it's not over yet. We then have to take some boats and buses. Let me try to show the journey through an animation. And after 14 hours, 600 some kilometers, and n number of transports, we finally reach 400-year-old structure, which happens to be my ancestral home. But this vlog is not about this journey. It's about what you can explore in Dhaka as a tourist. Dhaka is known as the rickshaw capital of the world, and you will soon realize why. Take a rickshaw to the old part of the city and explore this amazing temple. And apart from rickshaw, Dhaka too has this. Double decker buses. We then have the Shahid Minar, Museum of Independence, the beautiful campus of Dhaka University. It's a great area to explore with lots of structures, sculptures, and wall paintings. Then you can head towards the historic Hassan Manzil. Another important historic place is the Lal Bagh Fort. And you can wrap up your day at Hathir Jhil, which is a superb lake. In the second part of this vlog, I'll show you what more to explore in Bangladesh. Hope you like this video. Please stay tuned to Calcutta 9 for more such short travel vlogs every Sunday.